Hey guys, welcome to the live session. We are live on Facebook and we are live on Instagram. Every Tuesday we are live at 3, so welcome to this week's session. And this week we're going to talk about how you can stay motivated and keep your energy while you are working now towards that goal, towards that dream. Um, Jason, thank you for joining in. Nicole and Shalandri and Klaas, thank you for joining in to this week's live session. So, before we start, just a, a bit of news. Um, I'm coming down the 10th and 11th of April to Bloemfontein. Um, the 10th and 11th of May, sorry guys, to Bloemfontein for the Soccer Slim Congress, Congress by um, Volksblatt and Genwell. So it's going to be great. I'm a keynote speaker. It's a yearly event that they have there in Bloemfontein. So I'm coming down for that. So if you're close to Bloemfontein, make sure you get to the Soccer Slim Congress. It's going to be great. And then I'm currently busy implementing our course Six Zeros to a Million at Hartius John Forster and we're getting some great results from that. So it's going very, very well. And then I've been busy the weekend. I've been busy um, on Saturday recording podcasts. I'm going to release a podcast very soon, a podcast channel powered by Quintessential ZA and Tux FM. And then I'm also, Sunday, we, sh we um, shot some footage for uh, videogra videography and vlogs. So I'm going to move into better videos and vlogs as well. So check our social media platforms. Um, it's coming up soon. Klaas is saying, hi, Albert. Uh, so Jason, Nicole, Shalandri and Klaas, how is it going with your businesses? Um, tell me. Uh, how's your business going? Is there any questions that we can talk about on the live session? Henku, thank you so much for joining in. How is your business? Is there any questions you have uh, in terms of business and something you want to share on the live session? My thought for today is how we can keep our energy and our drive and our positivity on top over there while we're working towards that dream. Because let's be honest guys, while you're working towards that dream, that goal that you have in life, it might get tough. Things might get tough and every day is not the best day ever. Um, and what we need to do in that situation is not focus on the micro. Okay, because I run a few companies, uh, I have a few properties and things that I have to run and some days suck. Some days really, really bad. And then you need to say, hey... You know, sometimes you think, what am I doing here? Why is everything going wrong? Uh, why are these things happening? And you might feel, you might feel negative. You might feel demotivated. Um, and what you need to do then is to say, hey, let's look at the macro here. Because if I look at the macro, my career, where I'm going as an entrepreneur, where I'm going with my book, where I'm going with my businesses, if I look at the macro picture, there's nothing else I'd rather do. There's nothing else I'd rather do. I love what I do. If I look at the macro and where I'm going in life, there's nothing else I'd rather do. Because if you're stuck in the micro as an entrepreneur, you might think, hey, stuff is going wrong. Maybe I should go you know, back and get a job, you know, go back and take a nine to five job or something, and you might feel demotivated. But if you just step back a bit and look at the macro scale of things, I promise you, if you're going towards that passion and the dream, there is nothing else you would rather do. And that is how you get a little bit perspective back. How's that guys? If it's good content, if it's valuable, just send a shop and then I know I'm on the right track. So that's the one thing in keeping your mind, your energy, your motivation um, when you're in the now and things are rough. But then there's another question. Albert, I'm currently still in school. I'm currently still studying. I'm currently still in a nine to five job. What do I do? I want to become this great entrepreneur. I want to become this great uh, businessman. I want to reach this dream. I want to be this great sports star. I want to be, you know, uh, this, this very successful person. But currently, I'm still in school. I'm still studying. I'm still in my day job. What do I do? 
and and how do I keep motivation if I have to go to this day job every day if I have to go to school or to study every day well I actually want to work on that dream that big you know successful um, entrepreneur person that dream that you're working for how do you keep your motivation so that's the next thing we're going to answer but um, Jason is saying shop Henku is saying shop, Shalandri is saying shop, Klaas is saying shop. Looks like we're on the right track here today. Um, talking a bit about how to keep your motivation and how to keep your drive in the moment while you're working towards that dream. Um, so let's just see here. Jason, Nicole, Shalandri, Klaas, uh, Henku, um, Fritz and Quibbis, thank you everyone for joining in today if you have any questions send them through or if you have any comments send them through and we will talk about them live on the session today so what do i do albert i want to work on that dream i want to get there but i'm currently stuck in my day job school or studies what do i do so what you need to do is you need to align what you're currently doing with what you want to do that's the only way your mind will stay motivated. Your mind will stay clear. Your mind will stay full of passion and drive. You need to connect it physically. You need to physically connect it for your brain to understand. So, but what do you mean by that? So, let's say you want to become a world-class race driver. You want to become an international race car driver, but you're currently stuck in a day job where you have to work nine to five, and you can only drive around the track on weekends or after hours. And you're feeling, when you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, I don't want to go to this day job. I rather want to be on the track, driving in my race car and practicing. That's what you want to do. But now you're stuck in this day job. Now you have to go every day and say, ah, oh, you know, what do I do? So how do you generate energy then? You have to physically link your day job and what you're doing now to becoming an international race car driver. And yeah, everyone says, yeah, it's a stepping stone. You know, my job is a stepping stone towards that, but they're not physically linking it. So my suggestion, and just try this, and I promise you, you'll experience more energy, more motivation within the first day that you're doing this. Take a piece of paper, write down your dream, write down your goal, okay? That thing that you want to become. If it's an amazing businessman, if it's, a, if it's financial independence, if it's a world international race car driver, whatever it is, take it, write it down on a piece of paper. Then, take what you're doing today, your day job, your studies, um, your um, school or whatever, the place where you're stuck today, take that, write down what you're doing there, and then physically link it towards that end step, towards that end goal. So take a piece of paper, write down your end goal, write down what you're doing now, where you're stuck now, and take a pencil or pen and draw a line with an arrow towards that point and then write on that line all of the things that you currently do that's going to contribute towards that so if you're in a day job where you're just there to put bread on the table and generate income you can say i'm generating uh, money to get to that race car driver point if you're in a day job where you're learning a bit of management skills or you learn how to work with people you can write there i'm learning how to work with people so that when I get to that international race car driver position, I will be able to work with my teammates or work with my crew. And then you can say, okay, what am I doing? I'm learning how to work with finances. Uh, maybe I'm learning management where I, are, where I am right now. And then you write that down. I'm learning management, I'm learning finances so that I can better manage my racing team when I get to an international race car driver. So you physically, on a piece of paper, link what you're doing now with where you want to go and the things that you are doing now that is contributing to where you want to be. And then your mind will connect it physically and you will experience so much more energy when you're doing the stuff that you're doing now. Because now you are doing it with purpose. Because now it's not just a day job that you have to do every day. It's not just studies or school that you have to do every day. But now you're doing these things to get to the end destination. So now you're working with purpose. 
and purpose creates energy and drive. How's that guys? How is that? Let me know if you're liking what you're hearing. Just send a shop and uh, then I know that I'm on the right track and I'm providing some value for you guys today. So, um, Jason, Nicole, Shalandri, Klaas, Henku, um, Fritz, Quibus, uh, Lo, Aubrey, Leon, um, Vian, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining in guys. We have a lot of people on the live session today. Um, Lo is saying shop, Henku is saying uh, shop, and Klaas is saying positive mindset is everything. And Henku is saying world class drone pilots. Yes, guys, if you need a if you need a drone pilot, Henku is the one you need to look for. Um, so yeah, guys, going towards that end dream, Nicole is saying, I love it. Going towards that end dream and focusing on that and linking that to what you're doing today will release energy because now you're working with purpose. Guys, let me know if there's any other questions that we can talk about today in your business, things that you want to know about business, entrepreneurship and your business side hustle journey. Uh, otherwise, just to summarize, we talked about getting more energy, more positivity and more drive while you're busy hustling towards that end goal because some, day, some days might seem very negative and might be demotivating. And we said the first thing you need to do is you need to step back and focus on the macro because the micro might the, the micro the day the in the in the moment of things might not be that awesome but if you step back and you look at the macro of where you're going and what you're doing uh, then you get a better picture of where you are going to and then things get more clearer and more positive so that's the first thing step back and look at the macro the second thing is connect what you're doing now to your end goal physically on a piece of paper so that your brain can link them as well and then you're working with purpose which creates energy and energy creates positive feelings emotions and drive that's the emotional juice that you want to live on so guys that's just feedback on that today so if you want more if you want to see more of these videos and get content check out our social media platforms we post videos and pics and everything regularly and then i'll see you all again next week tuesday on the live session at three have a great day and good luck with your businesses and side hustles and entrepreneurial journeys awesome guys